So what are we doing then? Well, we're back in our own van, our own boat home. Yeah. We've unpacked the bailey and yes. packed everything in here. And we found out on Thursday that they weren't picking it up on Friday. No. So the plan was to leave a, a minimal amount in the in the Bailey Boat Home and uh, take it back to Southport. Well, since we're not picking it up on Monday, we decided to put everything in our own boat home and head off on out for the weekend, like a bonus weekend, really. So right. we're yeah. So we're. Well, the roundabout, roundabout is busy. <laughs> <laughs> if, if anyone knows South, but this is the Meals Cop roundabout, and it's notoriously busy. Because everybody's going in retail parks yeah. and playing things. Difficult to get out of here. Oh, no. Knows me way out. There we go. We're heading, we're going to go via Ormskirk because we're that end of the town. We're heading to Burr's Country Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site because we haven't been there for a while. No, no, it's the last time we went there was uh, about July 2020, wasn't it, when the sites had just opened? Just opened, yeah. We thought we'd do a local, local ish tour, not go too far. And uh, we had a really nope. horrendous arrival, didn't we? Because uh, it was really, 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 really busy. Busy, yeah. I think the video was called Gridlock at uh, Burr's Country Park. Yeah, it was. It was a real shock, wasn't it? There were just yeah. cars everywhere, people everywhere. Queue. Yeah. Well, well, way back, wasn't it? The queue yeah. to get in the site. So we're hoping for a an easier arrival today, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get that. And uh, we're there for a couple of nights, then we're coming back, aren't we? But then they'll collect the van on Monday. Yeah, we're going to go on the East Lanks uh, Railway. Yeah, we are. Uh, and, uh, we bought a, a ticket for the day. Yeah, you bought a Caravan and Motorhome Club buy one, get one free ticket. Yeah, a bog off offer. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, that's what they're called, <laughs> isn't it? Bog off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got one of So we're bogging off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we double checked we could take the dogs, didn't we, rang yeah. up. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing that tomorrow. Yeah, and it'd be nice to go there, because so it's, it's a while, and it was just so busy last time. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we'll catch up a little bit later. So it was at this point that we decided we were going to avoid the motorways altogether. So we took the A58 and that took us to Ashton in Makerfield where we had a nice drive around an industrial estate looking for a park up, which we didn't find. There was supposed to be a park here, but uh, we never found it. So we actually came into Bury via the A58, which was different for us. Yeah, so we still haven't found anywhere to stop. <laughs> making our way through Bolton now. On the road to Berry. We're in Berry now, it says. Oh, were we? Radcliffe. Oh, Radcliffe, okay. Oh, it's big, isn't it? Well, we've got problems parking. It's narrower than us, isn't it? Or yeah, is it? a little bit. This is where my Uncle David used to live. There. It's where the Jolly Carter used to be, it's now a petrol station. And a spa. Yeah. Oh, I used to live 588 along here somewhere. 586, I think, just went yeah. past it. Yeah, just gone past it. Oh. Uncle David used to live in this close here on the left. Oh, the right. end there. It's a very near then. Wanted long to yeah. drive, then take the first left. I used to deliver papers 
around here. Quite a hill, isn't it? Yeah, it was a hill. Sunday morning papers. Great big load on my back. Turn left onto Mile Lane, then take the second right. This is where Alison went to school. What, in here? In here, Green Hill School. Oh, right. You didn't go there then? I didn't go there, no. Belmont Drive. Was it a house or a bungalow? It was a bungalow. A bungalow on the right. Up here, I think it's the first or the second bungalow. Here. I can't remember which one. It was the second one. Yeah. Number 19. Yeah, 19, that, that, 19 one. that one. 19, that one. Yeah. Well, that should have a blue plaque outside then. Yeah. <laughs> Across the road, uh, our friends used to live up there. It's nice round here. Isn't oh, it? it is nice, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Down here on the left is where uh, I went to school. St. Stephen's. Memories, isn't it? Yeah. So we lived in quite a sort of a close area. Yeah, that was nice. Mm. The Lancashire Fusiliers used to be here on the left. New building of some sort. Yeah. And this school here is the other school, the other primary used to go to it's a church, but the, next to it was a school. All right. It's demolished now. So was that when you were really little then? Or? That was first primary school, I yeah. yeah. So you were sort of tiny then? Yeah, they rebuilt it further up the road. That's a bit like my mum's school in Weesomstead, wasn't it? Yeah. That was attached to the church and then yeah. built a more modern one. Enterprise over there, isn't it? Where we yeah. hired cars famously from. hired cars from. That time they took you all the way to. They took you all the way to. Manchester. Yeah, to get the car. You've gone for hours. Yeah. Right, we really need to find somewhere to park, don't we? I suppose we could park in Birds Country Park. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, it's a different way in for us anyway, isn't yeah. it? coming oh, yeah. from Bolton and the A58. Yeah. It's not here, is it? Or was it there? Yeah, it no, was there. Oh, it's here. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think we've, yeah, I think we've made that mistake before, but you end yeah. up sort of there. Yeah.
they've done a bit of resurfacing here. Yeah, and they seem to flatten some of the uh, speed humps. Apart from this one. No, no, I think they have definitely resurfaced this there. That's good. shop there now. All right, yeah. It's Garsdale, isn't it, where we had our 50th yeah. meal? Yeah. Just before the campsite opened here. Do right, you want to go and park somewhere? See if they can fit in there. Possibly not. Cobbles are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. No arrivals before one o'clock. Yeah. back there. Let's turn around. I think of going in that corner. Sorry? Going in that corner there. Thing, aren't we? Yep. Possibly. Yeah. So it's a site you don't get at many campsites really, isn't it? There's only a couple I can think of. It's a big engine, isn't it? Yeah, it's City of Wales. It's a bullied class engine. Yeah, the battery's gone on the... <laughs> The Hero 8. So we're going to go around the back here, I think, because that's where most of the service pitches are. There's a few just back behind us. Yeah, they're the original ones, aren't they? Yeah. And we're going on the two for one travel on the East Lanks, as it says there. Yeah, so we're going to go up the back, so that be near the train track. There's still quite a few pitches through, isn't there? 
Yeah, it was weekend, didn't it? It's good yeah. to get a lot, it's not just coming Friday, Saturday. It is full, yeah. onto the website. Yeah. We only checked last night to see if there was anything, didn't we? Yeah. We feel really conspicuous doing this like this, you know? I know. Yeah, but that battery obviously ran out, didn't it? Plugged it into my backup batteries, you know. Little Starfire. This one must be one of the last the old Portico Starfires. Pitch here. Yeah. Do you know what this one? Yeah? Yeah, this is alright. Alright, so we've got another service pitch here. Just starting to rain a little bit. But it's taken us all about 10 minutes to set it up. Service pitches are so much easier to set up. Right by the railway line. So I hope to catch you a nice a view of some nice steam engines going by. I can almost reach out and touch them here. Just uh, amazed to see uh, two approach compact 540s next to each other. Yeah. I wonder if they know each other. Yeah. And anyone's, yeah, anyone who's wondering, that was the van we had for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah drop down bed did it for us. I was going to show you the uh, motor home service point. Good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the better ones. The other thing probably I'd like to point out, as you quickly walking away from it, is there's a dog wash here. Now that's what you could really, Poppy, that's Poppy? What you really could do with. Could you do with that? She could. Do you want a dog wash? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're off. <laughs> the bug hotel here as well. Come on then. Come on. Come on. Back of the brown cow here. Quiet in there at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, Pop. <laughs> Sniffing time. Come on. Come on. Little sensory garden. Bells there. Mini beasts, the log pile. Come on. And their sculptures. I feel like I've filmed these a dozen times. Really? Oh, there's the whistle. The train. The River Irwell. Got doggy in the river.
Yeah, so Poppy's on her lookout. Tara's on the magazines. Reading about Land Rovers at the moment. <laughs> and uh, it looks like it's going to, it is actually raining. There yeah, you go. Yes, so we won't be putting the awning up. No, it's not very warm either. No, either, is it? no. So how much? So it's £72, but that is £30 a night for... plus for two nights yeah. plus £12 VAT. Right. So the Chancellor's taking a bit of it as well. He's then. taking £12 of it. Yeah, because yeah. the VAT is back up to yeah. 20%. Yeah. So it is £30 without yeah. VAT. Okay. Okay. And what is nearby? A railway. <laughs> a pub. <laughs> yeah. And a country park. Yeah. So what more could you ask for, apart from better weather? Yeah. Yeah. And we were going to put the awning up. I think the next will just put theirs up. But to be honest, for a couple of nights, can't be And we'll be out yeah. tomorrow morning, won't we? Yeah, most of the day tomorrow, so. Yeah. yeah. Poppy's got a look out. Oh, hello, Pops. There you are. Don't let me disturb you. Carry on. Keep looking. I don't know what you're going to see. I might see a train. See a train, let us know, and we'll do a selfie with the train. You'll have to give us a bit of warning there, Pops. <laughs> yeah. So it's one of our favourite sites, and but we haven't been here for about a year. Uh, so so it, it's almost two years. Is it almost two years since yeah, we've been here? Yeah, it was here? July 2020 when I was going. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, so what we're going to do is, tomorrow we're going to go on the train, so we'll bring you a little bit of that footage just after this bit. Come on, there you go. Right, Poppy's on her way to the trains, aren't you, Pops? She doesn't know it yet, but... She's out for a nice walk. Yeah. You? Yeah, we're going to be catching the 9.10. Oh, 9.20, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, my time's just down there, so we'll be going past it. I'm assuming the train's going that way. Bit of a faded sign there, isn't it? We have been on the Flying Scotsman, haven't we, from here? We have, yeah. I'm here in the train. <laughs> we probably are. Yeah. It's quite a way down the line, but it's nice, isn't it, Pops? Alright Pops, you're okay. If you're travelling, get any of the three coaches that you promised. Oh, I've got a whole little walk. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching Somerset Station. Somerset Station is our next station stop. This rather idyllic industrial village is well worth a visit. There is an excellent garden centre here and the walks into the hills are quite good. If you go over the top, you'll be able to find your way to Ramsbottom. Our next station stop is Somerset. Yes. We have been in the garden centre, it's a good one. Yes, a very nice garden centre, it's got a little cafe, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sharon enjoyed that, didn't they? Yeah, well, it's at your mum, didn't they? Yeah, mum yeah. went there, yeah. Platforms on the other side. 
<laughs> anyway, can't see much from here, can you? The ticket, two for one. It took us ages to, it took me ages to find it on the email. <laughs> yeah. See the river down there. Yeah, that's Somerset. Oh, no, what happened there? No. <laughs> to Ram's bottom now. It's a big Aldi's here. <laughs> Got the Union Jack upside down in there. I think this is a sad sight. It's old football club here. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Unused and unwanted. Yeah. Drop it. Yeah, that little stand that was there. Yeah. All that's left of FC is C. Yeah. Soon that's our old football club. Turns in fold. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Can't remember too much about it. No. There's not a great deal at Rottenstall. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are arriving into Rottenstall Station. Our next station stop is Rottenstall. I like here for the temperance bar and the many coffee bars that there are here in Rottenstall and some very good shopping. The walk around the uh, main street towards Bakehop will take you to Trickett's the Slipper King, a museum that is well worth visiting if you're into shoes. Okay, Rottenstall, our next station stop. About 20 minutes here, the locomotive will run round and take our train back to Bury. Thank you. Okay.
Keeping you nice and warm today. I say it's keeping you nice and warm today. Isn't it just? Built in Horwich, 1896. Comrades from there. Like they're having a jubilee weekend next weekend. Is it next weekend? No, third, no, of, third no. to the fifth of June. Okay. Might be worth a visit if you're into that sort of thing. Days out with Thomas. <laughs> seen him at the um, Lee Valley, haven't we? He's <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that actually went up on a carriage being pulled by him, didn't we? Yeah. Right, on the way back. <laughs> Other train which is operational on the railway at the moment, and this is an old Western Region diesel hydraulic locomotive, a name one called Onslaught. <laughs> it's its last day of running today, so please look on it fondly because it's due away for some factory. <laughs> Bridge Street Gardens, it's called. Sorry? Bridge Street Gardens. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one here. Oh, there's the diesel. Onslaught, 818. That's where that hotel was. That's where the bridge was washed away, Yeah. I like to hear excellent walks around the uh, River Burwell and also the Lanterlite Cafe and the Brown Cow Pub. Excellent meals if you're looking for a dinner. Yeah. I was rushing back. We don't want you getting hungry, do we? No. There's a little um, shop there now. Side is open, come and join us. Okay, if you insist. Yeah. Oh, it's looking nice. Some tables outside. Yeah. We've come the quiet way. This way. Come on, go to the pub. Hey, puppy. This is all right. Take, Take your hat off. A little better than the hat's on. Or... <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Not good at all. Good no. Stuff. Well, it's very nice in there. Actually, a huge selection of beer. I think they must have about 12 different pumps there. Oh, yeah, that's okay. They didn't have the veggie black pudding, unfortunately. All the sausages, but please, they've got the halloumi. They've got halloumi? All right. All's right with the world then. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
definitely pays to get the early train. Absolutely packed in there now. Well, I enjoyed that, that was good. Yeah. I'm just going to nip down to the brown cow now, I think. Finish our weekend off. <laughs>